Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to use PowerShell to create a zip file. This typically is useful if you're needing to back up multiple files into a single compressed archive. So to get started, the command we're going to be leveraging is called the compress archive value. I've created uh, a couple different test PowerShell scripts that we're going to run and I'll explain it. On the right hand side is what we're going to be targeting and working with. So we are going to be starting with how to compress three text files into a single zip file. And then we're going to talk about compressing uh, multiple folders into a single uh, zip file. And in these folders also have text files as well. So we'll see how that all looks. Uh, along with then after you already have a zip file uh, created, then how you can easily add extra stuff to it, which is a different directory. Um, and in this case, we'll be adding both text files and subdirectories with more text files than that. So we should be covering all possible scenarios, use cases. And then finally, we will be extracting those as well. So you can see how you can uh, regain access to those files and folders. So to get started, we're going to go ahead and just run uh, what we got here. So we're going to run the first command here. And in doing so, it is going to uh, generate this .zip file here. I should actually, let's, let's take a step back. I'll delete that. We'll rerun it so you can see it create it. Um, and if we open up this file, you can see there's those three text files. Uh, the command is you're providing after the uh, compress archive command, you have to just pass it the location of each file you want to back up. So again, it's text, uh, we're, we're backing up uh, 1.txt file, 2.txt, and 3.txt separated by a comma. Uh, this is an optional value here. You specify, in this case, uh, the level of compression um, and then the destination path. This is where you want the file to end up and then you give it the actual name of the zip file. So you can see it matches there. So the next one we're gonna run uh, this is going to be backing up the subfolders. So if we open up this one, you can see the subfolder one and two, which are located here. And if we drill down in here, you can see those text files are included as well as seen here. All right, so let's close that out. And then the, the last compression we're gonna run here. So what this did is we were providing it the the wild card, and this is where we're adding this folder. All the contents in this folder, we're adding it to the existing zip file that we had created just previously. So if we open up this folder before we had just the sub one and two, now we actually have text files and this new directory D, which if we look back at extra, there's that D directory. Here's those one, two, three C files. If we go into the D directory, you can see those as well. And I'll be uh, putting all these commands uh, in the description of these videos. So if I'm moving too fast for you, you can easily get back to them. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to extract these compressed files. So the first thing we're gonna extract here is the uh, first one we did. So let's run this. And you'll see there they are, the original first three text files now uh, show there. Similar uh, in the file or in the command uh, layout, instead of using the compress archive, we're using expand archive. Uh, you provide the uh, location and the name of the zip file that you want to work with, and then you give the destination of where you want everything to be extracted to. All right. Then the last one is extracting the, the folders as well that we made. So let's go ahead and run this. And it looks like the test folders is not found. So we've got some error to troubleshoot. Ah, so in this case, um, I did not provide it the, the location. And so this is a good troubleshooting scenario. So let's go and let's do this. So all the other use cases, you've seen how we provided the the literal path and the lit literal path is provided here so and just if using just the path this would be ran from the actual directory so let's go and change into that directory all right so now if we rerun this we should not get an error and we should see stuff happen and there we go so we can see that the contents of the other uh, zip file now was extracted as well 
Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for more how-to videos. And if you have any other questions, feel free to list them in the comments section below. Thank you.